Hello again, everybody. It's me, Marcus, and I review stuff. Today, I'm reviewing the song Columbia by Oasis. So, um, the reason I have this screen pulled up, you might be wondering. If you didn't watch my last video, um, you should know that this week I have decided to randomize what I'm listening to. So I took some time, put every single request that I've had so far into a Google, Google Sheet. And then what I'm doing is I'm hitting the randomize button on that sheet three times and whatever lands at the top is what I'm listening to for that day. So uh, this song, Columbia by Oasis, was the very first one to sort of win the randomizer. And so that's what we're listening to today. Uh, this song does come as, come as a request, as I mentioned. So as always, if you would like to request something, leave it in the comments and it'll get added to this list. Um, I may, you know, uh, listen to it randomly or I may uh, decide to just go by my older requests. You know, this may just be, this randomizer thing may just be something I do for this week and maybe something I do intermittently. You know, I haven't really decided yet. So um, anyway, uh, my experience with Oasis, you know, I've heard a few songs by them. Of course, I've heard Wonderwall. Everybody's heard that song at this point, right? I've heard uh, Don't Look Back in Anger, and I think I've heard Supersonic. Three amazing songs by this band, by, uh, by the way. Uh, really enjoy what I've heard from them so far, um, and I'm excited to, to hear more. So without further ado, let's listen.
that was a fun listen. I mean, that uh, just based on the few songs that I've heard from them before, uh, that's about what I expected. Just real groovy, really great guitar work. Uh, easy to just kind of put on and listen to, and you know, you're not really. Uh, I feel like I'm, I don't really have to think too much about the song, um, but it's also not simple enough that I'm like, I can almost push it aside, right? I feel like it was just complex enough to keep me interested and simple enough to just put on, turn my brain off, and jam out to. So uh, a lot of great things to say about this particular song, and uh, first time for Oasis on the channel at least, and I gotta say, they knocked it out of the park, so... Um, it's going to be a two thumbs up kind of day. So let's start, of course, with the lyrics. You know, um, I had the privilege of watching the uh, lyric official lyric video here. Um, and so I, I got to read them. But as I was reading them, I, I was also just listening to the groove. So I feel like some of it just kind of went through my, went one ear and out the other, right? So uh, a little bit of information here. It does say that Columbia is an infectious, groovy head trip to listen to. It is named after a hotel called Columbia, which the band stayed in while they were recording in a studio where they did a lot of acid. You know, I, I definitely get that acid vibe from here. I think the lyric video does a nice uh, job of sort of uh, showing that, uh, kind of giving you that vibe. Uh, this was the first song that Noel, Noel Gallagher wrote with Oasis. It is rhythm guitarist uh, Paul bonehead arthur's favorite track acclaimed by the fans but not very well recognized by critics perhaps by being in an album full of great songs okay that makes sense to me because yeah i could see why this would be a guitarist favorite song this one was just so jammy uh, as far as the guitar went so kudos to the guitarist here uh anyway the lyrics so i've seen so much to disgust mother take me into your arms now am i am i to protect you there we were now here we are all this confusion nothing's the same to me there we are now here we are all this confusion nothing's the same to me so i wonder if this is maybe about an acid trip or if this is just a more general statement about the world maybe to me i get a vibe that the world's changing and it's very confusing you know it almost it can almost pass you by uh, I can't tell you the way I feel because the way I feel is oh so new to me. I can't tell you the way I feel because the way I feel is oh so new to me. So again, uh, that, that idea that maybe it's about using drugs and maybe that first time being high, it's like I don't know how I feel right now because this is totally new to me. But again, I also sort of read it as being like, well, the world is changing, you know, my life is changing, so I don't really know how to uh, elaborate on that because I've never gone through these sort of changes before. What I heard is not what I hear. I can see the signs, but they're not very clear. What I heard is not what I hear. I can see the signs, but they're not very clear. Again, to me, very much uh, plays towards like maybe drug use. But but again, I still see that connection uh, to maybe a larger picture here. Uh, so I can't tell you the way I feel because the way I feel is oh so new to me. I can't tell you the way I feel because the way I feel is oh so new to me. This is confusion. Am I confusing you? This is confusion. Am I confusing you? This is peculiar. We don't want to fool you. This is peculiar. We don't want to fool you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on. So, fantastic lyrically. You know, again, I, I think it's very interesting that you could definitely attribute this to sort of a drug trip while also being able to, I think, attribute it to maybe something larger, you know, the change in general or a changing world. Um, and so I think lyrically it was brilliant. I give it two thumbs up for sure. As far as the instrumentation goes, uh, really great guitar work. Like I said, again, I can see why this is a rhythm guitarist's favorite song. Just really groovy uh, from the get-go and just uh, a great listen. Again, I felt like I could just turn, put on the song, uh, sort of turn my brain off and just jam out. Um, and that's that's not to say that just again not to say that it's just a simple song or it's what you know pop song or whatever, but uh, just the groove was just so infectious that it, it was just an easy listen. It was easy to groove along and just really enjoy it. So uh, the guitar work was fantastic, excellent drum work as well, keeping a really nice rhythm, great bass work, um, and then the vocals were cool. You know, definitely that sort of Brit pop, Brit rock style. You know, somebody commented like, "Oh, Marcus, you seem to really like the the Brit, all the British English bands, right?" You know, you always doing Arctic Monkeys and the Smiths and what have you. And it's like, yes, uh, but that's just what people request. Uh, and I was actually talking about this with my wife. 
because uh, I, I mentioned the same thing. I was like, yeah, somebody, people have been commenting like, oh, you're all about the British rock. And it's just like, well, that's what people just keep requesting. But as I told her, I was like, the Brits can make a hell of a song. I mean, uh, I really enjoyed a lot of what I've heard uh, from overseas. So fantastic work by these guys as well, instrumentally, vocally, two thumbs up, of course. Um, and then as far as replay value goes, you know, I'm going to listen to the song again for sure. Had a great time with this one. Uh, and it's going on the playlist. So what I want from you guys, like at the beginning I said um, the songs, oh, two thumbs up all the way around, by the way. <laughs> but at the beginning of the video, I mentioned uh, the few uh, Oasis songs that I had already heard. You know, of course, Don't Look Back in Anger, Supersonic, Columbia Now, and then, of course, Wonderwall. Uh, my challenge to you guys is to, of course, give me some Oasis that I haven't heard. Give me some more songs that you think I would appreciate by them. So uh, thank you. For the person who did end up requesting this one, uh, especially since they've been really going hard for Oasis, I, I promise you I've noticed, you know, I may not always comment and say like, hey, I see you, but I noticed, you know, uh, I don't recall the name of the person who requested it, but I do know they've been going hard for Oasis, so uh, I'm very happy that I could finally get to your request and hopefully you enjoyed it. So let's see what the next song I'm, I'm going to listen to will be. Let me go ahead and flip over to my sheet. I'm going to delete this particular song it is done and then let's re-alphabetize the list alright here we go three randomizations and that's our next song so one two and three alright next song Joy Division Atmosphere tune in at 4 p.m. for that one um, anyway, that's it for me. If you enjoyed the music as much as I did, go support the artist. Go listen to the music wherever you can. One place you can definitely find this song will be in my Spotify playlist. It's in the description below. It has every single song I've heard so far on my channel. It's a lot of music. Uh, if you want to support me, all the normal stuff you do on YouTube, you know, like and subscribe and comment. All right, that's it. Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.